Welcome back to Church at Home. I'm Alicia and I'm so excited you're here with me for church today. We're in our last week of our series called I Believe. We've been learning all about some amazing people from the Bible who believed in God and His good plans. Today, our big idea is, I believe God is with me. Let's say that together on three. One, two, three. I believe God is with me. Yes. When we believe in God, we can believe He is always with us and has good plans for us, even when things seem hard or bad. God can always make bad things good. And even when things aren't good yet, God is still with us. That reminds me of a song I know that tells us God sent Jesus to be with us. Stand up with me and let's sing, I Believe in Jesus. This song is called, I Believe in Jesus. We're gonna all start with our hands up like this. You came from heaven, you loved me, you loved me, gave up. All you had, you saved me, you saved me. Your life was given, you loved me, you loved me. So I live forever, you saved me, you saved me. You made a way for me. You came to set me free. I believe in Jesus. Let's sing, I will trust. I will trust in Jesus. I will live to follow him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, hands up like this. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up all you had. You saved me. You saved me. Your life was given. You loved me. Clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. We hear ya. It. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe in Jesus. Yeah, I believe in Jesus. I believe he came to save. I believe in Jesus Christ. I will trust in Jesus. I will trust in Jesus. I will live to follow him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, let's clap our hands. Here we go. I loved that song, great job. God sent his son Jesus to earth to be with us because he loves us and he is always with us when we believe in him. God is with us when things are good, but he is also with us when things are bad. There's a guy in the Bible who had a lot of bad things happen to him over and over again. But guess what? God was always with him. And that story is in this book right here. It's the Bible. 
The Bible is God's special book for us. It's a book from God that tells us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. And one of those people is named Joseph. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps to find out more about Joseph. Stories of the Bible. Joseph forgives. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. But he had 11 brothers who hated him ah. and sold him into slavery. Yeep. After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams. And Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end, and the seven years of famine began, hmm. just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands, and many came to Joseph to buy food. There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. Yeah! But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others Aww. because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them. <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger. Aha! So Joseph decided to test his brothers. <clears throat> he had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. <laughs> On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. But Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed, so he released the brother who was still in prison. Yeah. But Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away, but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Aww. Aww. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta-da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. Even though bad things kept happening to Joseph, he believed God was with him the whole time. He believed God would make everything good. And after all the bad things happened, God used Joseph to save his family and all the people. Wow, that story is so important. I think we should draw a picture so that we will always remember what we learned. So let's grab your crayons and markers and some paper because it's color time. Hey friends, it's Gus. I'm so excited because we are drawing Joseph today. Let's get to work. Start with a short line right down the middle of your paper and a shorter line coming out the side of it. Then connect those two points with a curved line around like this. It's a nose. Now let's draw two circles on each side of his nose for his eyes. And go back and add two smaller circles inside. Then fill those in. 
Then on the right side, we're gonna draw a long curve line going down like this for a space. Now hop over to the other side and we'll do another line that's almost the same. But stop. Yeah, it's just a short one because we need to add a little ear here, like a little C. Then we can finish our line. Now we can connect those two lines across the bottom, almost like a triangle with a little point in the middle. <laughs> Let's add a smile under his nose and three little dots on both of his cheeks to make some freckles. Now we'll add some eyebrows above his eyes. Draw two filled in rectangles like this. Hmm, I think we just need some hair. Do one long line across the top of his face with three big bumps, kind of like mountains, over here. Then draw another line going back over to the other side. And stop right here, like the line underneath. Okay, from the bottom line, add another curved line and connect it to his ear. Now close up the lines with two more bumps, like bunny ears. <laughs> cool! Now add one curved shape behind his ear and one more pointy shape like this. Yeah, you drew Joseph! Great job! See you next time. Bye! Wow, those pictures of Joseph look so good. God was with Joseph when his brothers threw him into a pit and sold him to a faraway place or even when Joseph was in jail. And God is with you all the time too. We know that because God promises it to us in the Bible. He tells us he will never leave us. And that reminds me of a special verse in the Bible about trusting that God's plan is the best plan, even if we can't understand it on our own. I can't wait to show you, but, uh-oh, it's covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop all the bubbles so we can read it? Grab some bubbles if you have them and let's pop them. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. Ah. <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere. Yay! <laughs> nice job. You helped me pop all the bubbles. Now we can see our Bible verse. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Let's sing that song together now. Stand on up and get ready to sing and dance to our Bible verse song. Let's sing Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 together. Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend. Do not depend on your own.
I just love that Bible verse. It reminds us that we can believe in God and trust Him with all of our heart. That means even if bad things happen, God is with us and we can believe that He can turn bad into good. God will give us people who can help us when things aren't going the way we like. He will always listen to our prayers, give us what we need, and help us be brave. I know some people who are really brave. I think our friend Winston is going to tell us about them today. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and check out Winston's Lego review. Hello, Lego Builders! I'm Winston! And I'm Jerry! This is my Lego review show! Jerry got a Lego set for me today, and I haven't seen it yet! So, I'm gonna give you my first reaction to it, and I'm also gonna rate it on my awesome sticker scale! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, this is one of my personal favorites. Check it out. Okay, let's see! Whoa! That's Iron Man, and the Hulk, and Thor, and Captain Marvel all in one awesome box? Yep, this is an Avengers Lego set! is super awesome! And you can build the Avenger Tower in Quinja? That is so cool! I already think I'm gonna give this all the stickers on my scale! Well, awesome! Let's build it first and see what you think then. Let's build! Hulk smash! Whoa! Whoa. I love the Hulk! Look who I found! Who is it? It's the Hulk! Check him out! Whoa! Whoa, look at Iron Man! Do you see Whoa, him? Oh, yeah, I do! Whoa! You know, I like the Avengers because they're a team. I really like how they're always there for each other. What Avenger would you want to pretend to be? Oh, that's easy. I'd want to be Iron Man because he's red like me. Good choice. I'd want to be the Hulk because Whoa. he's big and strong. Nice. But you know, there's someone who is real, who is big and strong, and is always with us. Who's that? It's God. The Avengers aren't real, but God is, and he always is with us even when bad things happen. There's a story about a man named Joseph in the Bible who learned that very thing. Why? Well, because a lot of bad things happened to Joseph, but he still knew that God was with him the whole time and God made it all right in the end. Oh, kind of like how good guys always win in the end. Yep, God is with us and he always wins in the end. Sometimes things might happen that we don't like or that don't make sense, but God will still take care of us and he can make bad situations good. I mean, neither can I, but I know he's with us because he promises that he will be with us in the Bible. He also listens to us when we talk to him and gives us people that can help us when things aren't going the way that we like. Oh, there's sometimes when I'm scared and I pray to God and he makes me brave. I guess that's how I can know that he's with me. That's great, Winston. God loves when we talk to him, learn about him at church, hear stories from the Bible, and think about him. I like that God's with me. It makes me feel like I'm a superhero, like the Crimson Wonder. <laughs> oh, me too. Now, let's finish this up. All right, let's build. Let's do it. Hmm, there's Ooh. a lot of pieces in this one. And let's finish that Quinjet up. All done. Nice! Whoa, look at those flames coming out of the back. I bet you it goes really, really fast. That is pretty cool. Ooh, check this out. Let's put someone in here. Captain Ooh. Marvel, I think. Yeah, was. I think she's a good pilot. Yeah, I remember that too. Whoa, Captain Marvel. Hulk smash, Hulk smash, Hulk smash. Yeah. Awesome. I think it's time for you to give us your review now, Winston. Oh, okay, good idea. This Lego Marvel Avengers set is pretty awesome. It was a little harder to build, but it comes with this cool tool you can use if you make a mistake and you need to take off a Lego. Yep. Oh, I like all the characters it also comes with too. I like that you can play pretend with it after you're done building it. I played with Iron Man, of course. So I think I'm gonna give this a 
review of four Hulk stickers. One. One Hulk. Two. Wow. Three. Nine. Hulk smash four. Wow. Yeah, these Hulk stickers are pretty cool, Winston. Yep. Um, is it okay if I have one? Oh, sure you can. Yes. <gasps> Hulk. Smash! Oh, nice choice! Thanks! Now, friends, remember that God is real, and you can believe that God is with you. Oh, which is awesome! Thanks for watching LEGO Review Show with us today! We'll see you guys around next time! Bye, everyone! Bye! Whoa! Oh, look at the Quinjet! Wow, that Avengers LEGO set was awesome! The Avengers are brave and use teamwork to always make sure the good guys win, just like God can always turn bad into good. We can be on God's team. When we're on God's team, He is always with us and wants good things for us. Even if things seem bad, God will help us and be with us. And you know what else? Just like God is with us, we can make sure we always spend time with God too. We can do that by talking to Him when we pray, learning about Him at church, spending time in nature He created, or even thinking about Him. It's so good to be with God. Let's be with God right now and say a prayer to Him. Let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for always being with us when things are good and even when things are bad. Help us be with you too and spend time with you. We love you so much, amen. Thanks so much for joining us for Church at Home. We're done with our time together today, but we have fun crafts and activity pages for you. Just have your grown up at home help you go to saddlebackkids.com to check it out. And remember our big idea for today. I believe God is with me. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.